Imagine this a dark, brooding night, the wind howling outside, and somewhere out there, a man caught in the grip of a curse he can't escape. This is the heart of the upcoming Wolfman film, set to roar onto the big screen in 2025. Now, this isn't just any werewolf movie, it's a tale that blends the raw fear of transformation with the deep, psychological struggles of a man fighting the beast within literally. At the helm of this reimagined horror classic is the brilliant Leigh Whannell, the same mastermind who brought us The Invisible Man. And if that movie taught us anything, it's that horror doesn't just lurk in the dark, it thrives in the spaces between sanity and madness. The plot follows Blake, portrayed by the intensely captivating Christopher Abbott. He's not just a regular guy, but a man returning to his childhood home, the place he inherited from his estranged father. And like any good gothic horror, this house holds more than just memories. It's a place where shadows stretch longer and the walls seem to whisper secrets from a past long buried. But before Blake can settle into his new reality, he and his family are attacked by a mysterious creature. It's this encounter that triggers something far more horrifying than they could ever imagine. Blake, under the cursed light of an autumn moon, begins to transform into a werewolf. Now, imagine being in Blake's shoes or perhaps his wife Charlotte's, played by the always brilliant Julia Garner. She, along with their daughter Ginger, played by Matilda Firth, are trapped in this house, watching in horror as the man they love becomes something unrecognizable, something dangerous. The tension in the air is palpable. Every creak of the floorboards, every gust of wind outside, it's not just external. It mirrors Blake's internal struggle man or monster, and what happens when you become the very thing that threatens the ones you hold dear. But what makes this film truly exciting isn't just the jump scares or the spine-chilling makeup, though. Trust me, with Le Wano behind the scenes, you know the visuals will be terrifying. No, it's the deep psychological layers that pull you in. Blake's transformation isn't just physical, it's symbolic of the battle every one of us faces at some point. The fear of losing control, of becoming something or someone you never intended to be. That's what makes this film more than just another werewolf movie. It taps into something primal, something that resonates deeply with audiences. And here's where it gets even more interesting, the cast. Abbott, known for his roles in films like It Comes at Night, brings a raw emotional intensity to Blake's character. He was a surprise choice, replacing Ryan Gosling, who was initially rumored to take on the role. But in Abbott's hands, Blake's struggle becomes even more visceral. His ability to portray deep emotional conflict makes him perfect for a role where the lines between man and beast blur so dramatically. And then there's Julia Garner. Her portrayal of Charlotte isn't just that of the terrified wife, she's a woman torn between loyalty to her husband and the need to protect her family. Her strength anchors the emotional core of the film, adding a rich, layered dynamic to the terror that unfolds. Watching her navigate that fine line between love and survival will be something truly special. So what can we expect from this new take on the Wolfman? Well, if the teaser trailer is anything to go by, expect a film that honors the legacy of the original while pushing the boundaries of modern horror. Wannell, who's proven time and time again that he understands the power of suspense, seems to be playing with the idea that horror isn't just what's on the outside. It's what festers beneath the surface in the quiet moments when you least expect it. But the real kicker here, fans are buzzing about potential sequels. Yes, this might just be the beginning of a new monster franchise. With the foundation that Universal's trying to build for its classic monsters, this Wolfman could be the linchpin that ties them all together and Blake's journey from man to monster could be the key to unlocking an entire universe of horror. Now, I know what you're thinking, another reboot? But here's the thing, this isn't just about nostalgia. It's about taking something old, something we think we know, and reshaping it into something fresh, something terrifyingly relevant. After all, horror is always best when it holds a mirror to our own fears, right? If you're into films that make you think, that unsettle you long after the credits roll, then this Wolfman is going to be something you won't want to miss. Mark your calendars for January 17th, 2025, because this film is set to be one of the biggest horror releases of the year. And before you head off, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you think this Wolfman reboot will live up to the hype? Or is there another classic monster you'd rather see reimagined? Make sure to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more deep dives into the films that are changing the game. For all the details, you know where to look the description below.